So the following are true stories. May 26, 2003, Aaron Ralston was hiking. A boulder fell on his right hand. He waited four days. Then he amputated his own arm with a pocket knife. On New Year's Eve, a woman who was bungee jumping in Zimbabwe, the cord broke. She then fell into a river and had to swim back to land in crocodile infested waters with a broken collarbone. Claire Champlin was smashed in the face by a five pound watermelon being propelled by a slingshot. Matthew Brobus was hit by a javelin. David Striegel was punched in the mouth by a kangaroo. <laughs> the most amazing part of these stories is when asked about the experience, they all smiled, shrugged, and said, I guess things could have been worse. So go ahead. Tell me that you're having a bad day. Tell me about the traffic. Tell me about your boss. Tell me about the job you've been trying to quit for the past four years. Tell me the morning is a townhouse burning to the ground. Tell me the snooze button is a fire extinguisher. Tell me the alarm clock stole the keys to your smile, drove it into 7 a.m., and the crash totaled your happiness. Tell me, tell me, tell me how blessed are we to have tragedy so small it can fit on the tips of our tongues. You see, when Evan, you see, when Evan lost his legs, he was speechless. When my cousin was assaulted, she didn't speak for 48 hours. When my uncle was murdered, we had to send out a search party to find my father's voice. Most people, most people, most people have no idea that tragedy and silence have the exact same address. When your day is a museum of disappointments hanging from events that were outside of your control. When you find yourself flailing in an ocean of why is this happening to me. When it feels like your guardian angel put in his two-week notice two months ago and just decided not to tell you. When it feels like God is a babysitter that's always on the phone. When you get punched in the esophagus by a fistful of life. Remember that every year, two million people die of dehydration. So it doesn't matter if the glass is half full or half empty. There's water in the cup. Drink that shit and stop complaining. You see, muscle. You see, muscle, muscle is created by repeatedly lifting things that have been designed to weigh us down. So when your shoulders feel heavy, stand up straight, lift your chin, hell, call it exercise. Remember that life is a gym membership with a really complicated cancellation policy. Remember that you will survive. Remember, things could be worse. Remember, we are never, ever given anything that we can't handle. When the world crumbles around you, you have to look at the wreckage and then build a new one out of all the pieces that are still here. Remember, you are still here, the human heart beats approximately 4,000 times per hour, and each pulse, each throb, each palpitation is a trophy engraved with the words, you are still alive. You are still alive. Act like it. Yes. Come on!